welcome to Kai Taku. I'm Kai and this is Haley Jane and it is time for my book haul for the month of August. So this month I picked up a few titles that I'm very excited about and happy to share with you. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell that will let you know each time that I upload a video and like this video. So let's get into what I got. First, I got The Inheritance Trilogy by N.K. Jemison. This is a chunk a monk book. It is all three novels in one big giant volume. Um, I am interested to see how it's going to hold up from the reading just because it is a paperback, but the binding does seem pretty sturdy. So um, I'm not quite sure how it's going to work since I do read in bed, but I am excited to dive into this one. N.K. Jemisin is, um, from what I hear, the foremost in African American like sci-fi fantasy writers, and so I'm excited to read some of her works. Uh, we are currently reading in the Be Too Weird book club her work, The City We Became, and so it's definitely inspired me to try and read some of her other works. Next, I got Vicious Spirits by Cat Show. If you've seen my Caritathon video, you know how excited I was for the release of this book. I could not wait. I had it pre-ordered. It came on the day. I still haven't gotten to read it yet, so a little sad there. But I am so excited to read this book. Um, it is the end of the series. The series is just a duology, um, but with Wicked Fox being as amazing as it is, I know that I am going to love Vicious Spirits. Next, I picked up The Namesake. And I picked up this book to participate in a readathon that was occurring. Um, however, I did not get a chance to read this in the month of August, but I am still interested in reading it because it is an Indian author and I am trying my best to diversify my reads. And that is people of color, uh, people on, in LGBTQIA+, as well as, you know, people of own voices works. And so this is an own voice work. The author is Indian. So I am very excited to get around to reading this one. Unfortunately, I was not able to do so during the Indian readathon, but I am glad that I picked it up. Next, I got a book because the premise just sounded so interesting. Real Men Knit. So this is a story about a guy and his two brothers and they inherit their grandmother's uh, knitting shop. And so I love knitting and crochet and that's something I enjoy doing. And you just don't see a lot of guys doing it. I mean, if you watch Crochet Crowd, that is actually, you know, the host of that is actually male, but you just don't really see a lot of men knitting. And so I thought it was really interesting that um, Jess, the main character here, is a male who is actually thinking of keeping and running this store now that their grandmother has passed on where his siblings want to sell it. And so that just sounded like a very interesting premise to me. And so I picked this up. I've heard good reviews for it. And so I am excited to read this one. Another, I, this is a set, but it is another series that I've heard so much about on booktube and that is the six of crows duology so it's got six of crows as well as crooked kingdom in this box set um, i have not taken the plastic off yet but i have heard great things about this read with cindy is a huge fan and she's definitely one of the booktubers that i enjoy following the most um, and so since she highly recommends it and our tastes have seemed to align um, with the books that she's talked about on her channel, I'm excited to read this series and hopefully I will like it as much as she did. 
So the next book I actually picked up because of a uh, book swap that I participated in. It was the Black Ex Excellence Book Swap. And this was the book, uh, Black Girl Unlimited. It was actually the book that my partner requested. And after she requested it, I looked at it, read the description, and I had to pick it up. This is a, a story, and I think I'll just read the inside for you. It says, Echo Brown is a wizard from the east side of Cleveland, where apartments are small and parents suffer addictions to the white rocks. Yet there is magic everywhere. New portals begin to open when Echo transfers to the rich white school on the west side and an insightful teacher becomes a pivotal mentor. Each day, Echo travels between worlds, leaving her brothers, her friends, and a piece of herself on the east side. There are changes to leaving, there are dangers to leaving behind the place that made you. Echo soon recognizes the pain flowing through everyone around her and a black veil of depression threatens to undo everything she's worked for. Heavily autobiographical and infused with magical realism, Black Girl Unlimited fearlessly explores the intersections of poverty, sexual violence, depression, racism, and sexism. This, for it to be a thin book, is tackling a lot of issues and it's an autobiographical book as well as introducing these elements of magic. And so I am a huge fan of magic and I am a huge fan of, you know, teenage wizards and seeing how she's going to cope with having this magic and being a part of these two different worlds. Um, I'm very excited to see it. So I definitely had to pick this up. So thank you, V the Reader, for requesting this book because it's now on my TBR. Next is another Magical Girl book. And I think I may do a Magical Girl readathon. Let me know in the comments if y'all would be interested in a Magical Girl readathon because I've picked up a lot of Magical Girl books recently, especially Black Girl Magic. So this is Cinderella is Dead, which is another magic book. And it is another book that BookTube and Instagram have been raving about. And so I am excited to see if it lives up to the hype. Uh, this is a, another one that I would just love to read the inside cover. And it says, it's been 200 years since Cinderella found her prince, but the fairy tale is over. Now teen girls are required to appear at the annual ball where the men of the kingdom select their wives based off the girl's display of finery. If a suitable match is not found, the girl is not chosen. The girls not chosen are never heard from again. 16 year old Sophia would much rather marry Aaron, her childhood best friend, than parade in front of suitors. At the ball, Sophia makes the desperate decision to flee and finds herself hiding in Cinderella's mausoleum. There she meets Constance, the last known dis descendant of Cinderella and her stepsisters. Together they vow to bring down the king once and for all, and in the process they learn there's more to Cinderella's story than they ever knew. This fresh take on a classic tale will make readers question what they've always been told about happily ever after, happily ever after and the route for girls to break down the constructs of the world around them, which sounds amazing and I'm here for it and I'm down and the black girl magic is going to be great so I'm very excited to read this book. Last but not least I picked up Such a Fun Age. Such a Fun Age is a story about a white family who has called their black babysitter to come pick up their child because they're dealing with a situation at home. And the babysitter is walking around the grocery store with the baby and she's accused of stealing this baby. And so it is a story of allyship and performative allyship. And I'm very excited. Um, Booktube and Bookstagram absolutely loved this book. It was the read for many book clubs and especially with the way things are right now in the world, uh, performative allyship is definitely a problem and it's something that needs to be addressed and tackled for it to get better. And so I'm excited to read this book and to see how it's all really just kind of displayed and outlined and see if I actually like it as much as everybody else did. 
So those were my haul, my pickups for the month of August. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what books you picked up this month or this past month in the comments below. If you've read any of these books, I would love your opinion on them. So leave that in the comments below and I will see you all again soon. Like this video and make sure you subscribe. Bye!